So we are going on about a week where we have been on baby watch with Stevie and still no baby. It is right back to like when you're pregnant and you're waiting for that baby to come. So we have cameras set up in her stall and that way all night I can kind of be checking on her to see if her behavior changes, if she's kind of getting restless, shifting around, lying down. And now during the day, we're gonna go out, and we're gonna check in her constantly. So she is getting a lot closer and I'll show you some of the things that we're looking for. So here's Stevie. Not comfortable, are you? We all want this baby out. Just not cooperating with us. Before we get started, let's do a did you know pop quiz. While humans have a pregnancy due date window of approximately two weeks, true or false, a horse has a pregnancy due date window of approximately two and a half months. This is true. Horses are pregnant for approximately 10 and a half to 13 months, with the average being around the 11 month mark. But it's really important that you're checking for those signs so you can predict approximately when your horse is going to give birth. True or false, horses usually give birth during the day and surrounded by their herd for protection. This is false. Mares will usually give birth between 6 o'clock at night and 6 in the morning. They like to have their privacy and are usually waiting for their human friends to be out of sight. True or false? Horses have big babies. And once that water breaks, it's completely normal for it to take a mare two and a half to four hours to push the baby out. False. Once the water breaks, the baby should be born within 15 to 20 minutes. If not, it is an emergency, so there should always be someone close by to monitor the mare in case she needs assistance. True or false, signs of an approaching labor can be seen in some horses weeks before, and others may not show the exact same sign until just hours before, or not at all. This is true. Every horse is completely different. Some mares will show signs of labor weeks before they give birth. Others will only be hours before they give birth. Some don't show signs at all. And when it comes to maiden mares, first time moms, all of that can go right out the window. They sure don't make it easy on us trying to figure out when that baby's coming so we can make sure we're there to help in case of an emergency. True or false, once labor starts, a mare has a special ability to stop her labor a few hours up to a few days if she decides she no longer wants to have the baby right at that moment. Believe it or not, this is completely true. A mare has the actual ability to stop her labor anywhere from a few hours to a few days if she is disturbed, if she feels it's not safe to deliver, which is why when we're monitoring the labor, we want to make sure we're being as quiet as possible and out of the mare's line of sight. True or false, horses do just fine on their own. A mare gives birth in the wild by herself, so she doesn't need any assistance from a person. Okay, this was a bit of a trick question. It's actually true and false. She will usually deliver on her own with no issues. We shouldn't have to go and help unless there is an emergency. Because the labor progresses very quickly from the time the water breaks, if something goes wrong, it goes wrong quickly. And for the health and safety of the mare, as well as the foal, we wanna make sure that we are helping out. When helping out, we only want to do what is absolutely necessary and allow her to do the rest. We can actually cause more harm if we are pulling on the foal. You should always seek professional veterinary advice. So now that we know we want to be there ideally for the labor in case there's an emergency, 
we need to know what to look for to know roughly when our mare is going to be delivering that baby. So Stevie has been showing signs the last week or so, and she's been restless and pacing, pawing the ground, um, squealing every once in a while, biting and kicking at her side, but still nothing. So some signs to watch for in predicting when your mare is going to foal, and these are just a few of the signs. There are definitely many other signs out there. And remember, this is not foolproof. Some mares will show some signs, all of the signs, or none of the signs. And when it comes to a maiden mare, so a first-time mom, count on the unexpected. So you may notice that your mare is restless. She may be pacing the stall or the fence in the paddock. You may see her walking in circles, laying down, getting back up repeatedly, pawing at the ground. You may see her uh, clacking her mouth, yawning, looking, kicking, or biting at her side, eating and drinking less or not at all. However, in some mares, it's the opposite. You may see that she is a bit more irritable than normal, that she's urinating and defecating frequently. And right close to the labor, you're going to notice that she is maybe a bit more sweaty around her neck, the flanks. Keep in mind, colic symptoms and pre-labor symptoms resemble each other, so you always want to be consulting with your veterinarian. We're also looking to see if the udder is filling up with milk. You'll see the teats will drop down, point towards the ground, and there might be some milk secretions or waxing, which is the colostrum that will turn almost to a waxy substance. Some of the things that we're looking for is on her back here, these muscles are going to get a lot softer as, as the ligaments loosen up. And most mares can hold their tails, kind of clamp them down when they're, <laughs> they're okay. So as these ligaments loosen up, she's not going to be able to clamp her tail down as much. So when we're checking to see if the vulva has elongated and loosened, so she's still got a bit to go there. Still no baby. We are coming out to do our baby check and just see if there's anything going on with that udder. <laughs> Nothing. And this one here <laughs> is sleepy. None of us are getting much sleep because Stevie is up pacing all night in her stall and fussing. So we are all tired. She's showing all the signs we're just waiting for the waxing so we are april 27th and stevie is officially due tomorrow she's been showing lots of signs so we're tired every night i'm up hours checking on her she's uncomfortable shifting in her stall we're both tired. Okay, you want to sleep. So we are hoping tonight's the night. We were lucky enough to be right there when this baby was born and so got the whole thing on camera. So if you want to join us, hit subscribe, like, and the notification bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Barn Boots and Country Roots. We're all pretty excited for this baby to come out. We see me the most.